Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Heart of Fire 4, Kaiserick as Poland, Lithuania, let's continue on from where we last left off. So, the invasion of Russia, as you can see, is going pretty, pretty okay. We're in that, you know, they, if you've ever played this game, which I'm hoping, I'm assuming most of you have, we're at the point in invading Russia where it's just like, we've won and we're just kind of waiting for us to win. Like, we're just waiting for our troops to actually march to the victory points to consider the game to acknowledge that we've won. Even though, clearly, they, the Russians are not coming back from this. It's not like in real World War II, where the Soviets came back um, as they got pushed all the way to the east. They're in, there's no way in hell they can make a comeback. Like, it's just not possible within Hearth Iron 4, I believe, to do anything like that. Oh, and we just got our cipher against the Russians? Okay, yeah, let's immediately do that. Reveal the intel, thank you. We don't need to be doing anything against the Union of Britain. It's fine. 18 days here. All over, we got another, you know, a bonus for a month against the Russians. The Russia, you know... I mean, you know you've lost. Let's do a cipher against the Italians, because they are going to be our uh, next target. Only 200 days, so that's actually pretty good for us. Tanks are still doing a fantastic job pushing their way in. Green Army is still doing, you know, fine. At this point, Russia really shouldn't have any supplies at all. And you are done in 12 more days. I mean, I don't think we're going to be in a situation where we will just beat the, uh, the Russians? I'm definitely by the end of this episode, I, I would imagine so. In the fact that, like, how fast are tanks going to, uh, go to, let's say, Orenburg and then to Orsk? Then up to here, then to the city, then to the capital? Right now, it's going to take this tank, it says. Only three days to make their way all the way over here. This infantry, on the other hand, says it's going to take them... Four days. My four days get the perm first. Probably within a week, everybody should be in this new Russian capital. That's at least a plan. We also have to contacts though. Probably need to start preparing for other stuff. And actually, Red, who has the Marine divisions, we are now going to get our preparations done for an invasion of Italy. I do only have two marine divisions, right? I believe so. Divisions. Yeah, we have two marine divisions. We'll send them back. Instead of being fighting in Russia, we will send them, you know, to do their actual job that they've been trained to do properly. Yeah, no, Russia is extremely, extremely dead. Build more factories in Poland and also in Lithuania. Do not build them in any of the territories that we're still kind of occupying. They're not too happy about that. But you guys are still resisting us, right? 15%? <laughs> cities around this region? Got like one here. But this is not core territory. Even you aren't. Oh no, this is this is this is actually resistance against myself. Okay. Never mind, so everything makes a little bit more sense. I mean Archangel, will we need it? I'm not too too sure. Got him down to 31. Move your way down to the city. It's only worth... No, you don't have to move your way down to that city. Because, again, it's not actually a victory point.
Yes, I would like to strengthen the resistance. 20%. Uh, stage 2 risk. You know, let's go. Let's try it. One of you guys should go to this city. They're actually gonna make there before the tank does. So that's nice. And I don't believe well, what we can do is just at least make this a little bit lot wider for our uh, troops. Just so, like we can't get completely cut off, just in case. Even though I think we should be fine, I don't really think there's any cities in Siberia. Like, there's one here, but it's worth one victory point. Like it's not gonna affect things too much. I think I'm down to 24%. 24%. Capital, of course, it's in frickin' Archangel. Okay. You. You have one important operation. Make your way over here. Like, is there even another Russian? I mean, I guess there's more cities over here. Because Russia can never have enough cities. Why do you have... So many of them. Russia, please explain. I do not understand. Like, I know nobody's in there, so they don't need to be here. None of these exist. They're not real. You're on this front. Green, you're over here. Red, you're over here. It's fine if they have a little pocket, because I know there's no troops in that area. But it doesn't make any difference to me. Where's the other Marine? Like, are you walking? Yeah, what's wrong with you? And then after this, we're going to fall back line, fall back line, fall back line, fall back line. Everybody will be in split, which doesn't make any sense because I think that's not the shortest route. This is the shortest area. At least I imagine that it is. Then delete all of the fallback lines here. There we go. There's a single troop from Georgia up here. I don't know why. They just kind of are. Okay, my tank is here. Please go up to Archangel. How long is that going to take for you to do? 24 days! Okay, lovely. Russia, if you could just give up before then. You're at 21%. Like, you know you cannot win this. Keep strengthening resistance here. I think they, they might just kill um, garrison troops, is my best guess. But I don't think it's actually going to spawn divisions on the map, even though that would be kind of cool. Please, any of these cities.
we just need a win somewhere. And a 20%. I think when Omsk falls, that should be the end of it. Look at that. B-E-A beautiful. So. Again, I... I don't want to, like, toot my own horn here, but I think I basically have done everything. What we're going to do is we're going to give Ukraine... I mean, there's no way to make Ukraine... Give Ukraine some territory without looking like ass. So... Well, let's, let, you know, let's start with Finland. Finland is an obvious country... ...that we can give some land to. So something like that. That makes sense to me. Other than, like, I'm kind of thinking I just annex all of it. And you know what? I mean, that seems pretty good. I'm just going to annex all the territory. Uh... Yeah. Again, it's easier for me to actually do it through the straight transfer tool than fiddling with this stuff. Get the piece all done. Figure that out. Pause the game. Turn on straight transfer tool. Do you have any claims to anything? I mean, White Ruthenia does. But I mean, so... I mean, I can get a claim here as well. So first things first. Uh... Return Ruthenian lands. You look absolutely disastrous, but okay, that's fine. So, fate of. Well, for let's do fate of Russia. Balkanize it as much as possible, releasing Siberia. Balkanize it as much as possible without releasing. You know, let's. Let's balkanize as much as possible without releasing uh, Siberia. It's going to take us... Well, we'll be here for maybe like a pretty minute. But, uh... I mean, I'm glad we won. Because this is... Pretty close to the... I guess we still have to deal with the, the freaking Japanese. I don't know really... Let me try to send troops to, frick, to um, Transmir. Because they are... An actual threat to... Yeah, like an actual land war with them. Or I don't send any troops there and I just let the AI send troops in that direction. That also works out well for me. But if I don't... Don't send troops there. Then me having to push out of Siberia... It's just going to get more and more tedious the, the longer and longer... I wait... Who would I sense? I don't think I'd want to send any of these people. That's the problem. Oh! Did you guys figure it out? Lovely, 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 lovely. You're still called the Russian state though, huh? Anyways. The fate of Don Cuban Union. Give them the Russia. Yeah, it's gonna take him a it's gonna take him a hot second. Do I need to do anything else with straight transfer tool? I mean I just gonna still have some resistance in this region, but you know that should be okay. Okay, turn this off. You know what, let's Send you into because you're not your actual troops of ours. Like you, you matter more. We'll send you into red, red army. We will take out some of these Hungarian troops. Roll you into green, and green. Uh, delete all your old plans. You are going to be the ones going to Transmir, and maybe the Fenian government as well. No, but you're sending volunteers to Germany. So I assume you're anti-Japanese, at least. 
in some respects. Not too sure, though. Oh, well, Germany's actually sending troops to Bari. I think, or are you sending them here? No, I think they are going to Bari. No, they're landing. But it looks like there actually is no troops in that province, which is lovely for us. Did I not send everybody to... Yeah, everybody goes here. Yeah, no, go to the invasion of... Yeah, because now you guys are pushing your way through Transmir. How many men do you have? 9 to 30? Not fantastic, and, I, and now I'm just getting flashbacks to the Soviet Union campaign of having to deal with the freaking Japanese. Um, But, like, how powerful are you right now, Japan? A lot of troops... A lot of boats. Okay, well that's not really what I'm liking to see because, as you may know, I have like three ships. So I can't really do anything. But we'll see. We'll see how this all turns out in the end. I do have a research slot open though. Um, go for the anti-tank rifles. Yeah, so red is now going to where they need to be. Break this down. How long will it take for you guys to actually get to the front? Uh, 12 days? It's a little long. Then these two Hungarians to here. Then these two infantry divisions into this army. Yeah, like, you can see that, you know, our allies are sending men, you know, this direction. Russia, why are you fabricating? What are you fabricating? You can't even declare war, can you? No, wait. Mongolia is declaring war on Russia. Excuse me? How many troops of men do you have? 7 of 37 divisions. I mean, that is worrying. I really didn't see that one coming, though. You gotta admit. I don't know if anybody really saw... Potential invasion of... Russia from the Mongolians is extremely likely, but you know, here we are. Yeah, we got our better rifles. Let us upgrade those bad boys. Launch our naval invasion. We can see some French troops are here. And these 12 divisions over. Red, you're gonna force defend yourself. Here's these guys to land. Hopefully, it should get you guys to stop attacking soon. Thank you. Immediately try to not be considered encircled. Okay, reinforcements are arriving. Again, we're only attacking this guy to make sure we can actually get the troops where we need them to be. Wait for military factories. Okay. Two military factories. Let's get some more artillery going. It really seems like artillery might be a little bit outdated at the moment, which is a bit unfortunate, but what can you do?
Okay, the invasion of Italy is not working as well as I thought, but... I mean, it's not going terribly, it's just not going as well as I thought, which is a different story altogether. You know what we can do? Um, get another invasion going. You can see they're in Ancana. They might not be in Ravenna. Let's send one cavalry division up in that direction. Fourteen. Have I lost like a ton of men in this attack? I think I have. Um, not only one point two thousand. But it feels like I had way more men than this in the beginning of this invasion, didn't I? Yeah, like a full twenty-four stack. I've definitely lost men in this invasion. I think the French actually sank a lot of my troops coming over. Oh, well, that can't be right. Either way, I've lost ten. I've lost ten divisions. Somewhere, I know for a fact they are they are dead. There's no doubt in my mind. Don't know, really know what's wrong with the horses, but. Hold this line, do another invasion here. How is Green doing, by the way? They at least got to the front. Parent invasion going to Vladivostok. Just be like regular troops. Do not be super. Do not train! Do not exercise. Holy shit. Do not do that. Is he next to do invasion? The answer, of course, the answer is no. We're sending everybody down to the south. No more ships have been engaged by the enemy. Do we have enough supplies to actually maintain this? It looks like we do. One or two troops did get caught behind. But honestly, that is not so, so bad. But I think this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thank you for watching my thumb. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If not, do a thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.